everybody, welcome to Bo Show. Um, today I want to show you something, but before we get down to that, I want to tell you, address something about my show. The show right now is currently going to be uh, slowing down because school is about to start in less than two days. Yeah, I have, I'm going to be a little bit busy, so it does not mean that my videos are going to be done. It doesn't mean that I'm stopping on my video reviews. Absolutely not. It's just that I there's nothing else I can really do. I gotta stop my videos for just a little bit. And uh, once we're done with the videos, I mean, sorry, what am I saying? Once I'm a uh, you know, once everything's sorted out and once I'm my schoolwork is done at a certain point, then I can start talking to you guys more. You'll most likely see the videos now on my week on the weekends because that's mostly the time where schoolwork will stop. And but that doesn't mean that you know this week's not going to be full of uh, school because it is the first week. I mean, what can you possibly have on the first week? So there you have that. If you have any questions about what's going to happen more about my videos or something like that, please leave it in the comment section below if you really want to know what's going to go on with my videos. Now, the thing that I just picked up at Target, and this is kind of surprising because I did not know this was at or this was at retail yet. That is this guy right here. This is the Generations Roadbuster Voyager class. I had I had no idea that this was out yet. I knew this was, I knew it was online. I knew it was sale on sale online, but I had no idea that I was out in stores. There was like two of them left and I picked one up for myself and I'm very happy. I need to go get Skybite now. I heard it's yeah, but I'm still gonna pick it up soon. Probably right not right now because you know my budget is a little bit my budget my bank account is hurting but my my dad was lo lovely enough to pick this up for me and uh, I did find this a while ago I didn't pick it up. My dad picked it up for me. Such a nice guy. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Great figure if you could find it in your local Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, whatever. Or you could find it online. Always go to Big Bad Toy Store. The best place for toys. Um, so there you have that. Um, so let's talk about something else. Um, does anyone remember that band back in the 90s? that did a rip-off of a song. A song that was... did, did better than this band did it. Uh-huh. We're talking about Vanilla Ice. Possibly one of the worst bands I've ever seen. And... this was the first time that a white person was going to do it, be a rapper. And... this was just r ridiculous. Okay? just want to get that out of the way now because I'm just now, just now heard the song and we all know it's a ripoff from Queen and that's just horrible. That just goes to show you that even though he's the first white rapper does not mean that he made a new song. You know what he did? He just took out one little piece of the song's, you know, themes, you know, like ding dong, doom, doom, doom. He forgot. He, he left off the dune. Ding dong dune. Ding dong dong dong. That's all he did. So, yeah, there's been a few people telling me about Vanilla Ice, and I know that was a long time ago and forgettable. Forgettable. Um, just want to, you know, just want to clarify it because I know a lot of people were asking me about Vanilla Ice and how I felt about that band. So now you know my opinion about that guy. Uh, so you have that. Now let's get to the Transformers, because I know you guys were asking about more about Transformers, because I know my last one was about Comic-Con, and I was a little bit late, but now we get now I'm all catched up, and now we can talk about some new um, items that they were just revealed. Uh, these ones come from TF Expo, or, yeah, TF Expo, and uh, they have revealed... Everyone knows about Transformers Cloud, right? Now, if you don't know what Transformers Cloud is, 
Uh, I have to, uh, I guess I have to tell you. Transformers Cloud is basically a, uh, a very, very small toy line created by Takara, and they have basically repainted, basically did repaints and remolds of existing molds that we would like to see. The first two were Optimus Prime and Megatron, obviously, and Optimus was using his Classics mold, and Megatron was using the Bludgeon mold, but in the G1 color scheme, which actually looks a little bit more better than the G2 version. Then the, the second wave came out with a, a Brawn. Now this one was actually a... If you don't know, the Brawn was going to use the first edition uh, bulkhead mold. Now that was supposed to come out in GDO, but for some reason they canceled that figure for some reason. Somehow Takara is going to produce that figure, and that's really nice. They're also doing a Starscream in the same wave, using the Blitzwing mold. No. You should never have Starscream as a tank, ever. So yeah, there you have that. And uh, the latest wave is uh, Rodimus Prime using the Springer mold, which I am telling people, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Um, the robot mode looks good. I will admit, that robot mode looks awesome, but nah, I think the Springer works much better. Then they have Shockwave using the Whirl. That, that was going to be obvious. Someone will have to repaint that in the Shockwave. Definitely going to get that. That just looks so good. Now they just announced another two, and these are actually very, very interesting. I didn't expect them to do this at all. That are using the brand new, uh, that are using the the two new two two new figures are just coming out Roadbuster and Skybite. For Skybite, they're being they're repainting them into none other than Hellwarp. Or if you if you really want it, or if you really go into depth to it, he is Hellscream. Hellscream, you know the person from Beast Wars two. Now, let me tell you. These colors don't work. I don't like the Hell Scream at all. It doesn't look good at all. I absolutely don't like it. The, it's not because of the character. I think the character was awesome. The colors just don't work. The purple, the black, the gold, the yellow. It it just doesn't work. It it, it just doesn't work for me. And I think this is going to be an instant pass for me because I absolutely don't love it. The other one, on the other hand, the other one, on the other hand, that I, I am very, very interested in, they're repainting the Roadbuster mold and making that into Energon Ironhide. Energon Ironhide. How cool is that? Um... The mold works so much for Energon Ironhide. It works so much. Not to say that this mold does not work for Roadbuster. The Roadbuster, it works excellent. It works so much. Ironhide just works the same. It works so much. Um, I gotta get a hand on that figure. It, it just looks so cool. Um, the colors work. The paint job's awesome. All around, uh, just a beautiful figure. I love the look of this figure, and I'm also kind of sad that they did that. Takara did this. I'm actually kind of sad because if if you know me a lot, you would know like that for Botcon, they they never did a Unicron trilogy set, and uh, I know a lot of people would like to do that. Um, now I'm kind of sad because that can probably not happen because. We have a Universe Hotshot, we have a Deluxe Armada Starscream, we have a new Armada Megatron coming out, and now we have an Energon Ironhide. Four! That's four particular characters that have gotten new molds. Four of them. That is almost a complete BotCon set. And BotCon had the opportunity to make this set. But they didn't. They just they missed they missed the mark. It didn't work. Now I know a lot of you are going to tell me Energon Ironhide, I mean the Roadbuster repaint, Energon Ironhide, he could be repainted into the Power Link version. And uh, you know, the Armada Hotshot could be repainted into Red Exilion. 
uh, uh, Megatron can be repainted into Galvatron, and uh, Miles Stars can be repainted into Thundercracker. I could see that work. I could see that work. The question that remains is, what would be the fifth figure? What would be the fifth figure that they use? Let me know in the comments section what you think they would do if they ever did a in our a Unicron trilogy set. What would you like to see as the fifth figure? So yeah, there you have that. That's uh pretty much all I have to say. So yeah, um it's rather unfortunate that I won't be able to talk for a while. Um like I said, if I have some spare time, I will do another video. But at the moment, this will be for a while, I'm not going to be doing videos for a while. Um, you'll probably expect the next video two weeks from now. Just two weeks from now because i got to get ready for school. Because i, I got to make sure I'm ready for school. So there you have that. Thank you for everybody who's been watching my videos lately. And if you want to know where all the best toys are in this planet, go to BigBadToyStore.com for all the latest toys in the world. And if you want to know where I get all my updates for Transformers news anywhere, go to TFW 2005, where it's always 2005. So there you have it. Thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you next time.